everybody. It's Missy Wolf, and I am here with Leah Turner, finally in person. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I am doing well. It's CMA Fest. Are you excited to be here? I am. It's always so much fun to be here and to meet new fans mm -hmm. and reconnect with old ones and get to do fun stuff like this. I love it. And you brought somebody special with you tonight. Who'd you bring? I did. Um, my dad. I think that's who you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> my uh, dad flew in from California because yes. we were able to go to the CMT Awards last night. And so he was my plus one. Oh, that's so great. Did you have fun? Had an absolute blast. Got to walk the red carpet and, Aww. you know, do interviews. And it's just cool for him to be able to be here yeah. and see, you know, all the, the dreaming and the mm -hmm. pushing forward and all of that. It's kind of like a little bit of, you know, a fruit of your labor. Absolutely. And I feel like your dad's kind of a superhero after the story you just told me. So can you tell everybody else? <laughs> What your okay. daddy just did for you because he saved the day he for did. sure. He did. So we were sitting um, at the CMT Awards, obviously, and I don't know what happened, but I put my phone on my leg, and I had really glistened my legs, so they like looked good on the carpet, <laughs> so maybe that was the problem. But I put my phone, and it just slid right off my leg and went down into this like <laughs> drop-off, and we were behind like all these <laughs> bars, you know what I mean? And um, I was like, well... I need my phone. <laughs> like this, that's that, that's not ideal at all. Not at all. You know. So um, my dad went and got security, and I'm like, Dad, they are here. We do you see all these people. They do not care about yeah. my phone. You know. Yeah. So I saw these little like um, I don't know, like monkey bar looking things that you <laughs> could climb down right. and climb up, and I was like, I'm gonna hop over there and I'm I'm gonna climb down it. And I was, yeah. I was like, my dad goes, you you are in. I mean, I was in. <laughs> dress and heels and I was like I don't care I'm gonna do it so he <laughs> said I'm gonna do it so during a commercial break he leaped over or climbed over went all the way down it <laughs> picked up my phone climbed all the way back up and everybody was like dad 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 high-fiving in people were like I want to be you when I grow up oh my all God, of this stuff so, so and you got it on video yeah. which is fantastic <laughs> and I got to hear the cheers and that was such an amazing moment and hearing your dad say well if you saw a thousand dollars down there wouldn't you go after it like yes absolutely I mean we all we all would and that's like one of our biggest fears right how many contacts do you have oh in my your gosh phone. your business is in your phone everything and I was supposed to be doing like an Instagram like takeover <laughs> for um a, another Instagram account and I'm like well now I can't do my job and now I <laughs> you know and and then when you go into my apartment um you have to have your phone it's an app that unlocks everything so I'm like we're gonna be sleeping in the, on, on a bench oh my in goodness. the rain yeah it was wait wait, all wait. That. you have an apartment where you have to use your phone to yeah. get in like an you app. have to yeah Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is kind of crazy. So I if mean, your phone dies. Yeah, you're like locked <laughs> locked out of your you, community. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even have phone numbers memorized, let alone a, all these yes. elevator codes, front door code, door to your right? um, door code. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. And you remember the day when we were kids and you had to memorize everybody's phone numbers yeah. and use the landlines I didn't and call stuff? anybody. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow. We would be just completely shut out of life yeah. for... Wow. I know. I don't even know who I'd call if I went to jail. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like you, you wouldn't know. I would have happened. to call my mom and dad, which is the worst person that you want to call if you're in jail. You know? I'm not going to yeah. talk about that, but yes. Oh, no, come you on. wouldn't want to tell us the story. <laughs> no, you wouldn't want to do Okay, I was 18. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was a bad deal. But no, I didn't yeah, call yeah. my mom and dad. No, yeah. they're not the ones I called. Mm -hmm. I called my friends. I was yeah. like, they'll, they'll answer. Yeah. They'll answer at 3 o'clock yeah. in the morning. My parents don't yeah. so Well, much. I just, you don't want to hear the wrath of no, exactly. that cowboy over there. Exactly. Scary. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so let's talk about your music. Yes. Oh, my gosh. What have you got going on? The first, first of all, I finally get to meet you face to face. We did an interview over the phone years ago. Yeah. You were like one of my first interviews with the magazine. You trusted me enough to actually like get on the phone and talk to this complete stranger. And your interview, you you spoke to me like we were real friends. And Aww. it was like, wow, she actually shared with me. And it, it felt really good. And I remember calling Tommy afterwards and I was like, you have no idea how awesome it was to talk to somebody who actually treated me like another human being that cared. And we just had a good conversation. And that your interview stuck out to me. You just gave me the chills. Well, Look at me. I, you do have chills. But, I am, I'm sweating but, and have the chills. But that was one of those moments that you don't get a lot. And I 
loved you ever since then. And Tommy just absolutely is in love with you anyway. So anytime he hears your name, we're always like looking you up and what do you have coming up next? But what do you got going on and what have you been up to? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for saying that and giving me the opportunity because we all take chances on one another. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what this business is. We need supporters and friends in this business. You know, you might yeah. as well make them if you're going to be in it, you know? Absolutely. So I'm really glad that I was able to portray that over. So thank you for you really thank saying you. that. Um, what's going on? Well, I just released a new single. It's called okay. Blah Blah Blah. Okay, and, love it. <laughs> <laughs> My son tells me that all the time. Blah blah blah. I'm telling you, that's what we do too. <laughs> So, um, yeah, well, it was just, you know, I was in this relationship and um, it just kept feeling like it was all words and no actions, you know, and literally the first verse is taken from our text message conversation, you know, like, I mean, it's, I'm like, that's what he said and, you know, and blah, 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 like literally. (laughs) So um, it was just a lot of over promises and a lot of, you know, under um, delivery delivery. And so it just came to all I'm hearing is your blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh my God. So I took my heart to paper and wrote it. I love that you can do that because as an artist, you have to be vulnerable a lot when you're, when you're songwriting. I don't think I could ever do that. I mean, I write a little bit, I share a little bit on camera, but some of my deepest, darkest days or or my hard times, I don't know that I could do that. I don't know that I would have the guts to do that. So you being able to to put your heart to paper like that helps a tremendous amount of people. And so I need to thank you on behalf of all the fans listening to your music. You know, we need that to get through those hard days. We need that to get to the next good moment in our life, right. you know? So. Well, that is what is um, such a pleasure and such a gift, you know, that God's given is mm-hmm. to be able to do that because that's what music has done, you know, for me. It's taken me out of moments. It's kept me in moments. It's mm-hmm. brought me through the moments, you right. know, whether it's happy, sad, or going out to party, you know, <laughs> whatever it is, yeah. you know what I mean? It literally, music is a soundtrack to your life yes. and it, you build memories around it. And mm-hmm. so it's such an honor and a privilege to be able to be a part of building memories and becoming a part of somebody's soundtrack to their life that's what you set out to do yes well you've done a fantastic job and we we love you here at center stage magazine we we just love you so i I have to ask do you have a go-to artist that you listen to in moments where you feel kind of stuck or you're just needing some inspiration do you have an artist that you gravitate towards yeah um well i always listen to miranda because she is just Miranda. Yes. I mean, How could you, you can not just love say Miranda. her first name. I know, like, I just love oh, her. I know yes. who she is. You know yes. what I mean? So there's that. Um, but there's this, she's not the newest artist, and it's not country, but um, her name's Lizzo. Okay. <laughs> and she is a bad B. I don't know if okay. I can on here. But she is bad to the bone, and, like, she just came out with this um, song. She's this big black woman, can sing mm-hmm. and rap and, like, She's just incredible, and she came out with a song called Soulmate, and um, it's literally her talking to herself in the mirror, being like, you're my soulmate. I, you know, just talking oh, wow. yourself and yeah. falling in love with yourself, therefore you can love, you know, completely. Yeah. And she is just sassy and fierce wow. and just all about it. So it always she always gets me pumped. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm going to have to look her up. Yeah, Thank she's you. great. Lizzo. Okay, Lizzo. Yeah. All right. Because, you know, I depending on the mood that I'm in, yeah. I'll have a certain artist that I go towards, yeah. you know? And a lot of that is just my upbringing. Like, yeah. when I just want to sit by the fire yes. and relax, I'm like, honey, can you put on Barry Manilow? Yes. Like, you yes. Know? But I went to a concert when I was 19, and that man blew me away and I was like oh my god this is like the best show I've ever been to you know and and then you have the moments where you're like okay I don't care what you all say at home I'm a Nickelback Ah, fan oh my god I am a Nickelback fan and I love Chad and he's amazing and I got to meet him and talk to him a couple of times and he was just amazing to me and so all you haters out there take another look because he's amazing keep on hating Um, (laughs) we don't care but but no so I have one one extreme to the other yeah. as far as my music, and, and I love everybody and every type of music. And, you know, I get into my moments where I love Snoop Dogg. Oh, and yeah. It's just well, like, Lizzo is right up there. You yes. Like, you, stank face. Like, yes. Yeah. And you can't, man, when Snoop smiles and yeah. you're having yeah. a bad day, you just can't help but smile. It's true. 
and yeah. and his character in Starsky and Hutch, Huggy yeah. Bear. Yeah, I my, just love um, him. when I like want to cry and like be all in my feelings, mm-hmm. and I I suggest this, but I don't suggest it because you'll be in your feelings forever. Okay, it's opening like a bottle of wine and laying on the floor and putting on Leanne Womack. Oh, you will be like oh, yes, and yes, mine. oh my, and then you know because yeah. she just I mean yeah. sings her whole heart. Isn't it amazing though when those specific artists and those certain songs make you feel yeah. and you can't escape it no. and it's like that's what I live for yeah. I live for those those songs where I cry and I, you know I'll I'll be at a show and an artist will be singing and everybody else is enjoying the music and I'm sitting there crying yeah. because the message in the song has yeah. just gotten to me and then I feel like the biggest idiot but I'm like you touched me that song just got yeah. me yeah yeah it's it's that music Trisha, is amazing um, I saw Trisha Yearwood play at the Greek theater when I was like my mom and dad took me and I don't remember how old I was but she like hit this really big note and like fell to the ground because the note was so big and like you know, it was like a yeah, not like she didn't like fall, but it was, right, you know, right. She was just like down on her knees type thing, and I started crying, and that's what changed the course of my life. That I went, I want to invoke emotion in people like she yes. just invoked it in me. Yes, and so like, and Trisha, not every artist can do that. Mm-mm. Not every artist can. Trisha do that. can. Oh, <laughs> yes, she can. Okay, and she's so humble she and is. so sweet. And when you talk to her, she's just all smiles. She is and like quiet like a mouse when you, when I'm talking to her and I was like god you're just so sweet I just want to like take you home and make everybody else be like yeah you. yeah it's she she's a she's a great person and her yeah. husband is equally as amazing yeah and, oh my gosh so yeah. thank you for being you and for being real and connecting with fans and connecting yeah. with your your you know just everybody I mean it's it's not easy to do but you make it seem effortless oh, and even though you put your heart on the line and we know the pain you're going through like you still do it for us and that means the world to me as a music fan well, and, and so thank you and don't stop being you i won't because you're amazing <laughs> is there anything else you want to tell fans before i could talk to you forever <laughs> i know we no, did on check the- out blah 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 <laughs> the video is coming out on yes. cmt follow me on my um my socials yes. it's leah turner music and never give up always dream big um because dreams do come true they do, and I couldn't set it any better myself. <laughs> so thank you guys, and until next time, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You're amazing.